What's going on you guys? Just hopped in the truck here. Uh, getting ready to go meet up with my buddy Derek. We're gonna go to a buddy's from high school that now owns a big timber business. He uh, bought out this old rock quarry location and uh, now stacks some timber in there and it's kind of a staging area. So should be a pretty cool layout, pretty cool setup I would think. Uh, Derek's familiar with it, I've yet to be there and uh, I'm excited to get in there and see what's going on. So stay tuned, we're gonna get right after it. Let's roll. I'm all fired up.
good? Are you good? Felt good. No. Okay. That one I definitely hit. You got him. You got him. I'm filming. Ooh, okay. Go ahead, take one. I think he rolled down it. Yeah, I think you have two of them laying back there, Josh. That first one you shot did the same thing, but less controlled. Like, it flopped down the backside of that other ridge. There he is with my first one. Boom. Let's see if we can find these up on that hill. There's one right there that came off the hillside. I'm not sure where the other one is. Here comes the recovery truck. Yeah, big time. Coyote cords, baby. Makes life easy. All right, guys, I'm just getting back home. Man, that is by far the craziest stand that I've ever been on as far as coyote hunting goes. Um, I'd say we spent two hours, maybe two hours and 15 minutes there, and they were just super responsive the whole time. Um, you know, got skittish, of course, after I screwed up that first. I don't even know what this video is going to look like, but set up on a big bowl kind of area that outlined all that timber um kind of looking down into it like a stadium type deal and i thought for sure i was going to be able to stop them down in that uh timber area and just have some normal shots down in there but man they closed the distance so quick and you'll probably see it on the video i think um i started trying to howl at them um just mouth house and they kept getting closer and closer probably within i'm um, guessing maybe 20 yards something like that and uh, i was standing up on my tippy toes the stock of the rifle was up here. <laughs> the very tip of it was just at the very top of my shoulder and just, 
uh, squeezing off shots that I shouldn't, but had no other choice. And um, series going crazy here. But um, ended up killing that one. It's a monster male. Uh, this I'm one sorry. right here. Big old dog. Killed it at about 120 yards and missed those others up close. Um, and then finally called him back in on the top of that huge ass pile of rocks. That was pretty wild. Hopefully that shows up well in the video. Unfortunately, hit one of those, injured it. We chased it, followed it, and um, it went on to another property. Unfortunately, wasn't able to recover that, so that always stings. Hate that, but uh, was able to kill this one here. Um, just a wild stand, wild setup. Um, closing out the video this way, and uh, that was a fun night. So one stand, two dogs, four of them are out there, and came home with two two left out there that one's probably gonna die but um i hate that but that's part of it it happens every now and then good times as always and uh can't wait for the next one so happy hunting be safe we'll see you on the next one bye